Hey guys, it's Ironclad Merc here with a special video on how to install your own dedicated servers for Convoy for an American Truck Simulator. And there's also a Euro Truck Simulator 2 dedicated server as well, but I'm going to cover how to install it for American Truck Simulator. So they posted a news yesterday called Convoy around December the 8th, dedicated server support. So now they've made a dedicated server available to to for you to run and you don't even have to own the game you can run a server you could run it on a, a Linux box you could run it on a Windows box it doesn't have to have the game installed it's just you can just host a dedicated server you could spin up a an instance on AWS or some other server was um, service provider and you could run your own server but uh, so I'm gonna show you how to install it here on Windows and just as a look you can install as a local server as well so i'm going to install a local server on mine just to show you how it, what the process is of, of this so uh, so that way if you have a dedicated server players can come and go and you don't have to be you don't have to have the game running 24 hours a day so that's the advantage of this so they have a standalone server so what you want to do is you can come and read this as well and if you have the game, what you want to do is you go to in your search uh, for in Steam, you search for American Truck Simulator, and under Tools, you're going to have American Stru Truck Simulator dedicated server. So if you want to go ahead and install that, but don't launch it. It's about a 360 meg download, I think. So install it, but the, but the, don't launch it from here because you have to configure it first. So um, once you have it installed, then um, the next step is to look at the where it installed it to. So we have you have to find your uh, you go to man, right click it in the tools, manage, browse local files. So that'll bring up Windows Explorer and it'll be set to wherever it was installed. So it's usually deep in the Steam library somewhere, somewhere on your C drive or your external drive or whatever, wherever. But what you want to do is look at the server readme. So the server readme is this file, and it tells you how to configure it. So if you if if you have the game installed already, what you have to do is it needs a couple of packages in order to work. So as it says here you have to export the server packages first. So what you want to do is enable developer mode and set the console uh, so that you can actually export the server packages. You have to go in the game and do this, but uh, before you launch the game, uh, we need to go and enable some things in this config.cfg. So to change the con config for American Truck Simulator, it is not located in your browse local files, it's in your uh, pro in your documents folder. So if you won't find it if you go to browse local files for American Truck Simulator, it's not going to be in here. Where it is going to be is in your documents folder. So if you go to your documents American Truck Simulator, it's going to be in here. Here's the config.cfg. So I like to open it with Visual Studio Code. You can open it with Notepad as well. And what we want to do is find two things here, console and set G console to one and developer. And we want to set developer to one. That will enable development mode. So once we have that, we can now go into the game. We want to go into the menu into the main area of the game first. So once you're here in the main game, you want to press the tilde key, and you don't have to press shift, you just press the same key the tilde is on. And this opens the console here. So what you want to do here to export the server files is to type in the command export server packages. And when you uh, press enter, it's gonna the game will freeze up for a few minutes while it's exporting. And then it, once it's done, it'll say it's finished. So we're just gonna do that. 
In my case, I already had them exported, but it will just re-export them. Okay, so once it's done, it'll say server packages exported successfully, in which case you can then turn off the, the console and exit the game because we won't need it uh, right away. So then we can go out and launch the server. Okay. Okay, so once you've exported your server files, well, we need to set up the server config first. So if you go into your documents American Truck Simulator folder again, open up the server config and open it with Visual Studio Code or, or no, you can open it with code, notepad, anything you want. Let's open it up. And it's just a text file. So what you want to do is set up your lobby name and an optional description. That's an optional welcome message. You can set a password. You can change the max number of players. I'm not sure what the max is, but uh, it's set defaults to eight, and you can change some of the other configurations, but you don't have to. You can change the ports that it's using and some of the options. And what you want to do down here is change the moderator list to include your Steam, your Steam ID. Uh, so that you will then be a moderator, so that you can be mo uh, moderate your own server. So what you want to do here is find your Steam ID and put it in the moderator list. And now this is a numeric ID; it's not your um, Steam username. But what you can do to find it is you come into your Steam and say account details, and you'll get to the account details screen. And it'll show you your Steam ID here, and you can copy and paste it into the config. So if you want to add yourself as a moderator, what you need to do is put, use this in your server config.sii file. The moderator list of one, or tell it how many moderators you want. So if there's one, put one moderator list, and then for each moderator, you can use a subscript of zero, starting with zero, and then your Steam ID from your uh, Steam detail, uh, user profile details in Steam. And then you just list out all the moderators you want. So moderator list zero for one moderator, and if zero and a one for all the other subsequent ones you want. But other than that, that's all you need. And into to run the, the server, you want to go to the command line, go into the dedicated server bin, win x80, x64 directory, and then run the amtruckserver.exe and then it will we can run the server now and if it's working then you'll see state of running and player zero uh, you see the welcome message and if there was a problem you, you will see some errors up here somewhere so if, if it's not working there'll be errors um, telling you what you need, what the problem is, what you need to do. So at this point it's running and we can go into, um, there's a search ID it gives you, so you can either use this or you can use the session name to find it once you're back in the game. So, okay, so once you're back in the game again, we can go to Convoys, click Continue, and we can try and find the session that is running on our server. So what we can do is search for the server session name. Okay. And that should bring up your server. So this is it here in the Ironclammer ATS server, uh, whatever you called it in your config file. And this is it here. And you just click, you should be able to join the convoy. Once that's, yeah, if there's a, it has to come up as a green, but then it, once it's running, it says Map Module California, but actually all the DLC is enabled. It, and when you're launching the server, it tells you what all the DLC and mods that are, it's loading. So even though it says California in here, it, DLC Compatibility California, it actually has all of it, I believe. So then you can join the convoy. And it's telling you, press tab for menu, in-game child is Y, in-game, so it's got your commands there, and then you click OK. 
And you'll see that it updated from one out of eight to eight, one out of eight players. So this is your session you can look at. Got the information. Um, and then basically you're running a server. You're, you are, your server's running. You can go in the game, do your jobs, whatever you need to do. Um, and the other thing is you can press tab and, uh, up, and if you go in the game, it will, when you connect to the server, says you have been promoted to a moderator and then this allows you to set the time on the server to whatever you want. So that sets it to 3 a.m. And let's see if I go into the game. You can see Tuesday 3.06 a.m. So it changed it. And we'll see now that it's 3 a.m. in the game. And if I go back out here, I could probably change it again. Let's change it to 10 a.m. Go back in. And now it's daytime, 10 a.m. So that's how you set the time as a moderator. Um, so. And to shut down your server, you just have to do control C so you can shut it down. The other thing is if you want to run this on a dedicated server without the game installed, I don't know that it's going to work. Um, I tried it on an eight gigabyte of RAM AWS Windows 22 server, and it doesn't like the server packages.sii file that first of all, you don't get the file. And the other thing is if you copy it over from another machine like this one, uh, it doesn't work either. It's just it either complains that it doesn't exist or it gets to the point of generating the config file and then it exits out. So I'm not sure what the problem is with that, but it doesn't seem like you can actually run it without the game installed on the same machine. So uh, I don't, unless they come out with some more information on that, uh, you'll need to have it installed, I think. But uh, this is how to run how to run the server if you have it on the same machine. So if you, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and comment to me down below if you figured out how to run it on a machine that has no, does, does not have the game running uh, on it at the same time, because they claim that it's possible, but I don't know that anyone's successfully done that yet, so, and we'll see you in the next one.